Hello everyone, Ronnie J here, and I hope you guys are having a great day, and I also hope that you're enjoying uh, the video series here using Sam Broadcaster. Now, up to this point, uh, you should have uh, accomplished a great many things, and uh, having your mixer board, if you're using that, hooked up to your Sam Broadcaster computer, you have uh, rearranged your desktop, like you see here, and you have uh, configured Sound Broadcaster. Now, in this next step, this is a very important step because now you are ready to stream up to your stream host provider. In other words, uh, you want to turn on Sound Broadcaster, you have some songs loaded up in a queue, and now you want to send those songs or stream those songs up to your stream host provider so they can be heard by your listeners. Now, in order to do that, you have to set up what's called an encoder. In a previous video, I had you set up one of the encoder panels, and you will have one appearing on your Sam Broadcaster Desktop A right here, and you should have one set up on your Desktop B over here. And you can have an encoder set up on any of these desktops, even on Desktop C if you want, but I don't. Uh, I use that Desktop uh, C for other things, namely my AUX Dex. But so now, this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your encoder. It's very easy. It's very easy to set it up, and it's very easy to test it. I'm going to proceed as if you have a live 365 stream host provider account. The procedure will be almost the same if you are using another stream host provider as far as setting up an encoder, because each of them will give you a specific uh, set of data that you have to uh, paste into the encoder settings to get it to work. So I'm going to take you over briefly to my live 365 dashboard and show you where I uh, extract the data from that I use. So here's the my back office and I'm going to gray out the area that shows the the password. You don't need to see that. But right here, if I come down to settings here and go down to sources, source settings there, it shows my encoder settings. So I'll need the host name which is listed here. I'll need the port number, which is 8,000. I'll need the mount point, which is a slash in this uh, series of characters here, the username, and the password. And when you set up a Live 365 account, these things are automatically provided for you. And all you have to do is refer to this section here and copy and paste these settings into your encoder settings. So let's go back to Sound Broadcaster and let me show you that. And there's something else you should know also is that uh, not all stream host providers use the same settings. And I'm going to show this to you. Okay, so when you set up your encoder, this area right here will be blank. Mine is populated because I've already set up an encoder for my SAM. So what you want to do is click on the plus symbol here. And in fact, what I'll do, I'll go ahead and delete this one so I can create a, a fresh new entry. So I'll click on this minus button and click yes now my encoder settings is gone so i'm going to set my encoder again and in your case you're doing it for the first time so click on the plus button and it brings up this box here or this window now if you're with another stream host provider you they might direct you to go to what's called mp3 lame encoder and when you do that you'll click on ok and then here you want to set in the bit rate and normally it's going to be either 64 or 128 you will know that once you purchase a stream host provider account i believe that uh, 128 is perfect it's crystal clear quality and your mode will be stereo and your sampling rate auto and these other settings you can leave them as they are and optional you can auto start your encoder after five seconds and you would check that if uh, let's say for example if you're streaming and your internet connection gets severed. There's a problem with your internet connection. It drops offline for a moment, your streams stop, then your internet connection comes back all on its own. Sam detects that, and then Sam will reinstall your encoder and your streams resume. So you can check that if you want to. This is up to you, this is optional. Else you'll come in and you'll start your encoder manually. Then you click on the server details tab here, and then it's here that you'll enter in the data that your particular stream host provider will provide you. You will enter in a server IP, which could be a .NET something, or it could be the actual IP address, which are a series of numbers. 
you enter in the port number, it probably will not be that, it could. There'll be a username that they'll provide you and a password, and they'll tell you what the SID is. They'll also tell you whether or not your shoutcast will be a version one or version two. Because if you click version, if they are version one, then there's a whole lot of data you put in here. But if it's a version two, then you'll enter in more data. So that you'll pay close attention to that as well. Then over to the right uh, is optional stuff here. I recommend that you do give your station a name. If this was me, I would put in here WRP Radio Smooth Jazz. I will pull this down and select the genre, which is jazz. I enter in my website, ripradio.com, and that's it. Then click OK. This tab here, the Stream Archive, this is where, say if you're streaming from Sam Broadcaster and you want to record that entire stream, you check on this and what Sam will do, Sam will create for you a gigantic gigantic mp3 file so if you're say streaming for a couple hours and you want sam to record that you would tick on this i never do that i don't need to to record my broadcast unless i'm doing say a smooth jazz top 20 countdown live then i i may want that recorded so i can uh, upload it to the website so users can listen to it at some future date in case they missed it all right but uh, that's for another stream provider or providers if they're using shoutcast okay shoutcast right here version one or version two live 365 does not use shoutcast they use icecast okay let's set up our sam encoder to work with live 365 so i'll click on the plus symbol and i want to select the mp3 lame encoder click ok then out the next window under converter my settings are a 128 kilobits per second stream my mode will be stereo and I'm gonna leave this unchecked for now leave this at five seconds and have the auto reconnect encoder after 15 seconds checked and I'm gonna leave uh, allow scripts in stream unchecked then we'll click on server details and I'm going to select icecast then icecast 2 that's what uh, Live 365 directs me to select. So I'm going to paste in the server IP and this information I get from my Live 365 dashboard. Okay, that's there. The port is uh, 8000, so that's good. That's there. The username is source. That's already there. The password, I will copy and paste that in here as well. And happily, this is a uh, asterisk out, so that's good. Station name, I'm going to put in here WRIP, Rip Radio Smooth Jazz. And my station description, I'll just put here, we're smooth 24 hours a day. Okay, that'll work. My genre is jazz. Let's find that. I don't think smooth jazz in here, but jazz is fine. There it is, jazz. And I'm going to type in my website, ripradio.com. Okay, everything else you leave as it is. Then on the live, uh, the stream archive, I leave this unticked. Okay, so that's all set up for Live 365. Then click OK to save. And your encoder is here. Okay, if everything is configured correctly, then all I have to do is right click on my setting here and click start, or I can click on highlight this and click on this button right here to start the encoder. Right now it's turned off and nothing is leaving Sam Broadcaster. So let's turn this on and see what happens. I get in the habit of right clicking and doing a start, logging in, there's an error. Okay, that's okay, not panicking. So that would mean either one of two things. There's an issue with uh, Live365, which is unlikely, or my settings are incorrect. So let me right click and do a stop. And this is good because this is a training video. So you, if you see this, you'll know what you need to do. So to investigate, to see if I made an error with entries, I'm gonna double click my setting here, brings up the box. I know that most, it's gonna, the problem's gonna be within server details. 
So let's see here. Okay, I have Ice Cast selected, Ice Cast 2 is selected. That looks good. This looks good. The source looks good. The password is probably okay. Here's the problem mount. Mount is not live. Mount's going to be, let me check over here. My setting should be this right here. There we go. There's a slash. That right there. All right. And then let's click OK. OK. Now let's see if we can get this to work. So I right click, start, encoding. So it's working. Let's stream some music. So I'm going to turn on Sam. All right, stream stopped, but I'm still encoding. So I'm going to stop it by either clicking this button or doing a right click and stop. Okay, now it's idle. Okay, so right now nothing is leaving Sam. Now, uh, is it dead air? No. I'm going to go back to my live 365. Now let's go to the dashboard here and notice that my auto DJ is uh, turned on. So the station is still on the air. Now what's in a little bit in my queue here is has taken over. And over here says that the live DJ, that's live DJ, live DJ is your Sam that is disconnected because I turned off the encoder. Now the live DJ is working and the song playing right now is Kimmy Trick. That's not the song that was in Sam Broadcaster. Let's check it out. See, Kimmy Trick isn't there. Kimmy Trick isn't even the cue. So we know that what we see here is the auto DJ. So it's, it's seamless. There's no dead air time. Okay, and let's listen to it. Let's go to the Rip Radio Smooth Jazz website. Go. All right, see, there's Kimmy Trick. And down here, it's showing all the songs that were last played on the Auto DJ. But if I had left Sam Broadcaster running, then the songs that were there would be down here. But now, Auto DJ is running. And if I click on this play button. Okay, there you have it. Setting up the Sam Broadcaster encoder, it's pretty straightforward, but just keep in mind that if you go with another stream host provider, you need to pay attention as to whether or not you have a shoutcast package or server or an icecast. I highly recommend, and I'm not being paid by Live365. They don't have an affiliate program that I'm a member for, so I'm not plugging them for the purpose of making money. I'm simply saying that Live 365 makes it very easy for you as far as setting up an encoder. Uh, you'll be using the IceCast setting and plus with the Live 365 stream host packages, your licensing is included. That's a biggie. Whenever you're streaming or you're setting up a internet radio station, you want to make sure that you are legal, that you are DMCA compliant if you're streaming copyrighted music. Very, very important. Don't be like some of those out there who are taking a, a big chance that they won't get caught streaming copyrighted music because if you're caught, you'll be levied some very stiff fines. So you don't want to do that. You want to be legal. So with Live365, they make it very easy for you. You purchase a package, licensing's included. You have a dashboard where you can load up your, uh, music on your auto DJ up there. And uh, whenever you want to stream live, you turn on your encoder here on Sam Broadcaster. Sam Broadcaster will send a signal up to your Live365 account and disable your auto DJ. It'll do that automatically for you. And whenever you turn off your encoder, the reverse happens. A signal is sent up to your Live 365 account and it automatically re-enables your auto DJ so there's no dead air on your station. It's a very nice way to go and that is the way to go. All right, so there you have it. This is Ronnie J. Thanks for watching.